Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield to Representative Pafford. Representative Pafford, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. About three months ago, uh, the press asked me what I thought would happen during um, this session, what would happen. And oddly enough, I thought perhaps there was a chance that with a supermajority in each chamber, we could actually take the debate to the governor. We could actually use our power of a supermajority to, to take the responsibility of building a budget that actually wasn't irresponsible. But instead what we did, we actually uh, went to the mansion and gave him a big hug and we said we want to do exactly what you want to do, Mr. Governor. And the governor was very, very happy and, and I have proof of that. Oddly enough, he sent the state worker to my desk this morning before we got here to send a little letter and it said it was thanking me, which is kind of funny, uh, it, t helping him shrink the size of government and reduce the cost of government. Now, I've never met the governor, but apparently this chamber has done a lot of things for the governor, and we've produced a, a budget that actually accomplished a lot of the budget, the, the governor's goals. We, we cut 3% of salaries from the public sector employees. We've taken over a billion dollars from public schools. We've left tens of thousands of frail and elderly seniors on wait lists. Florida Forever, yeah, there's a chance we could pass it if we sell some property, but that was kind of zeroed out. And this is the greatest thing of all. I, I assume the governor's watching this and he's happy. $22 billion is going to be turned over to the private for profit managed health care system, Medicaid reform. That's what we're calling it, but we've got to save a few bucks. We've got to shrink government, and th this makes sense. Now, I emailed you a copy of the Florida Chamber Foundation's Crossroads Report from 1990, hoping somebody might pick it up, call me, and say, wow, that's incredible. They talk about quality of life. They talk about moving away from the two most volatile lines of revenue, property tax and sales tax, and, and talking about growing Florida into the future. I didn't get a call, but I'm waiting. I'm waiting for next year. Until I get that call, you can consider this budget really something, it's, it's, a, it's a Tea Party train wreck. It's a Tea Party train wreck. What guided the principles of this chamber is the Republican primary of 2012. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Representative Waldman, you're recognized.